The final one uh, that I want to show you is quite complicated. So I've left it till last. Um, and this is, <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. So the picture for this one is this one here, okay? And the way you do this is in pieces with pieces that sort of shape. Now, I think it looks better with eight pieces going round, so you have to work out. So to do that one, you have to work out an eighth of the circumference of your head. So back to our piece of string, measure around your head like this. So that's the whole circumference. I'm going to cut this so that I don't have to keep re. So that's the circumference of my head. If I join it, so that's half, that's a quarter, that distance, and that is one eighth. Oops, that is one eighth. Right. So the reason I'm doing this, let me hold on to that. This is one eighth of the circumference of my head, that distance there. So if I mark here and here, I can throw in a piece of string, I'm going to draw my picture of what this should look like. Now again, if I draw just half of it, I can fold it over and then I'll get it perfectly symmetrical. So I'm going to draw it. So I need my centre line, which we'll just say is which is now I'm pretty good with estimating distances, but if you're not, just measure it. Right, so my shape I want is for it to come like this and up. Okay, I'm going to use the Sharpie, not because I think you should, for reasons mentioned earlier, but just simply so it's easy for you to see. So I want it to come, I want it to be that kind of shape. Right. Now, if you're cutting in a newspaper, it saves a lot of time and effort because you can cut through several pages at the same time. You don't have to cut eight pieces out, you only have to cut four out. Not four, you only have to cut one out if you've got eight pages behind it. Right, so. Right, so I'm going to fold this over on that line. So it has to be lined up with this line at the bottom here. And then. Draw around that. And then <clears throat> here I have cut through how many pages? Let's see. Oh, quite a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, I don't need that many, so I'm just going to cut eight. When you're watching these videos, if there's anything I'm doing which is difficult for you to see, do drop me a message on the Facebook page and let me know. And then when I make the next video, I know what to what makes life easier and what doesn't. This isn't exactly right, but it's pretty close. That'll do. So, right now, the reason I've done this in newspaper is not because I'm going to make it up in newspaper. I'm not. I'm actually going to make this up in cardboard. But as I said before, I've only got one piece of cardboard and it's not that big so what I wanted to do is make a template which is what this is and lay it out to make sure 
I've got enough card for all eight pieces so I might have to wiggle them around each other a little bit and if I just keep moving the same piece backwards and forwards I might lose track. Right, if I turn that like that, you just have to work out from whatever you've got at home what you can make this out of. I don't think anything paper is going to be um, robust enough. I think it's going to be too floppy. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll get two more in. Uh, seven, eight. Look at that. In fact, I'm going to put that one that way because I'm very lazy and that's one less, one less thing I have to cut. Right, that's that. Right, so these are my eight pieces laid out and so I'm going to just draw around them all. Right, so what you have to remember is while this is for a parade, it is not something you're going to wear for the rest of your life, so it doesn't actually have to be oh so perfect. It's just for fun. And what is life without fun? Whoa. Now, you probably don't need to see me doing this, so I'm going to stop the camera now and I'll come back when I've done all these and then I can show you and then we can cut them out. Right, I've drawn all of these out. I've definitely got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I haven't cut them out yet because um, I just wanted to say this to you, which is it's easier if you just roughly cut round them first. Like, just like that. And then trim round the edges like this. And incidentally, don't throw away the bits that you're not using because we may use those later on for decoration. You never know what might come in handy. So until we finish the whole project, don't throw them away. But I'm going to cut these out. I'll come back to you when I've done them. All of my pieces are now cut out, as you see. And what we now do is put them wrong sides together and we match up the curves. If, what, if like me, your cutting is a little bit inaccurate, Try and match this curved bit up here and don't worry so much about the bit at the bottom because you can always trim that off. Right, so when we've done that, then we get a stapler and we're going to staple about, what's that, three millimetres in. So, and we start at the top. This is not a very good stapler, I hope yours is better than mine. If your stapler doesn't work or you don't have one, then the thing to do, I guess, is to get a needle, poke holes through, and sew in and out to hold it together. Because what we want to have is the join, if you like, showing on the outside. So I'm just going to go around this curve now. Oh, this is such a silly stapler. Right. Come on, baby yourself. Right. Mm, it doesn't want to play. Come on. I am talking to a stapler. Oh dear. We need to get that more. Ah. Come on, don't make me testy. No, that's not working. Take that out. Very often, it's just the staples inside me jiggling about a bit. That's a technical term. Jiggle. <laughs> right. This one just needs to be opened in between every single staple. Right. And then, when you open it up, you get that nice curve like that. Now I've done some earlier, I feel a bit like the old blue Peter. Look, and so it's going to end up looking like that, which I think, and here so you can see, it looks rather nice. Right, I'm going to carry on doing this all the way round and then I'll show you what that looks like at the end. And this is what it looks like 
when it's finished. Now, top tip here, um, it can be a bit tricky to get on your head because it's all pinched in like this. So the thing to do is go round at the bottom part, not only at the bottom part, just flatten that a little bit so it's easier to get it on your head like that. And then it's not such a tight fit. There we are. So that's that one. 